In this video, we are going to see what are the UI design trends 2022. Number one, minimalism and simplicity. Yes, as simple as your design is as easy as that for a user to understand and love your product. We all know simplicity is a quality of being minimal because uh, when it comes to simplicity, minimalism also comes with it because minimalism is the effect of showing the visual elements and words that you are going to use very less but creates a maximum effect. Uh, we can say that like minimum usage of elements creates the maximum effect which is known as minimalism. Here are some examples that actually shows how minimum you can design but that can create a maximum effect on the user. There are some leading tech companies you can spot a strong preferences for simple informative and minimal interfaces like Revolt, Meta, Oculus and so on. Year by year, this trend is getting bigger and bigger and uh, more of the companies started using it already. Number two is brutalism, that is the return of the flat. I think you all knew about uh, neomorphism or heard about it somewhere. This brutalism is just opposite to that. Neomorphism is a kind of design that is full of gradients, shadows and maybe a 3D elements, like more of that. But when it comes to brutalism, uh, it is more of flats. There is no shadows that you can you can enhance the design with just creating a style with an emphasis on elements, materials, textures, and uh, you can produce highly expressive forms of text. Brutalism can be considered as a counter trend, which is directly opposite to the trend that is full of designs such as like uh, with the gradients shadows and as i mentioned already maybe with the 3d elements so it is it is completely opposite to that brutalism is full of flat flat designs this flat design includes strong outlines contrasting colors bold typographies and real life photographs number three glass morphism and glass inspired elements the main aspect of this glass morphism is it will have a semi-transparent background with a sublime shadow and uh, border and also it is uh, we have to add some blur to the background so that it will give a glassy look and effect. Actually glass morphism is everywhere already uh, widely used in the uh, Mac OS and other uh, Windows 11 and few other products as well like they are using it already uh, as their basic models and basic designs in their basic designs. This effect can be used in a background blur and um, a semi-transparent objects like cards, watercolor and uh, maybe glass looking spares and other elements also we can use if you feel like and if it really creates that effect. Number four is Aurora backgrounds. I think you have seen it so many times. Even I have used it a lot. Uh, currently, it is in trend. It look, it gives a very cool look actually. Uh, if you try that, this trend came uh, previous year actually, but currently it is still in trend. Uh, it is everyone is everyone likes to use it. Subtle, colorful, and blurred splashes of color uh, looks very friendly and organic. And of course, it is visually very attractive. Uh, this can be used as a uh, used as an entire background. You don't need to worry about uh, the plain backgrounds that you are using. You can use it somewhere. Uh, at the background where the important elements will come from. Let's say for example you have a big um, website uh, home page there you can use this Aurora backgrounds and highlight the visual uh, the wordings or something you want to highlight. Maybe you can give some colors in the background this Aurora's in the background so that it will highlight your text. Uh, this is very easy and this is very attractive as well. You don't need to worry about the plain backgrounds uh, if you have if you are bored of using it. Number five is holographic and neon. This neon colors can be be used in the um, virtual worlds if you are representing any of the virtual world in VR technologies that you can use these neon colors that will actually um, give some holographic effects vibrant glowing colors abstract can be round shapes hologram looking textures and it is also uh, used a lot in the crypto space as well to show how futuristic those interfaces are number six is cardboard style Cardboard style is considered as eco-conscious style. Eco because like people are getting more and more conscious about ecosystem uh, day by day. They are preferring organic things everywhere. So this solution, this design is considered as an eco-friendly solution. This uh, gives a eco look and you can incorporate them in the digital products as well. Uh, these backgrounds are uh, mostly grayish and gives a recyclable cardboard look. It might seem funny but the texture is really cool. Uh, if you can see these examples, uh, the texture of the 
the background is really nice to see and gives a very pleasant and calm look. Typography should be a very minimal uh, style and contrast should be high. Uh, the background colors uh, are quite strict and looks like a dimmed color so that it will give that feel. No cute 3D objects should be used here. This is not the place to use those 3D elements here. So don't use it uh, in this type of cardboard eco styles. Instead, you can include some real life photographs and real life textures and doodles, maybe uh, one line drawings, some things like this. While typographies, uh, we were typographies are in trend for the past 10 years. We are still exploring many of the typefaces and uh, to see which one suits our websites or home screens or mobile designs. Like we are still in confusion. We are still uh, searching for new things that we can use it for uh, the typefaces on our product. So uh, typography is still in trend but currently they are uh, started using the wild typographies that you can give it with a proper grid so that it can be easily understandable because uh, we always cannot say every typographies or every typefaces are easily understandable. So that's why we are sticking to few of the typefaces for Androids and iOS but still uh, there are some wild typographies that you can use with a grid system so that easily it can be easily understandable and by the just by the views. Even though I'm not a big fan of it because even though it can be eye catchy sometimes it cannot be understandable people will struggle uh, it can be unreadable and irritating sometimes number eight is clay morphism 3d most of this clay morphisms are simple in shape they'll have both inner and outer shadows uh, as i've mentioned uh, that will give you a very liquidy look like it, it won't be very it won't give you a solid look or a liquid look it will be a combination of both uh, it is like a more fluffy kind of 3d way of presenting some elements visual elements number nine is nfts nfts are nothing but non-fungible tokens that is for example if you are creating something in digital you can sell it online if you are creating anything in digital uh, or on you can sell it easily in online so that is what the nft is about so where people who are who have started creating everything online even though you can you can sell uh, any piece of art that you are doing it uh, digital this is considered as a democratization of art means absolutely everyone can sell their work if you have done it digitally online even though you can sell your dribble shots as well and coming to overall trend like uh, we can consider vr and metaverse is taking place metaverse is that like lot of applications new online applications are coming to the platform let's say they are planning for some apple glasses which are really um, which are really made, might come in the combination of both AR and VR emerges with gesture based window control, eye tracking and holographic and 3D shapes. But those are not at confirmed announcements. They are still unannounced but based on their uh, progress, uh, it has been found that AR and VR can emerge together in the Apple glasses, in the, uh, in the upcoming Apple glasses. Hope you have got the UI trends uh, which is currently in trend. Put that in the comment section. I will elaborate that maybe in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.